Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play where today our queen will be going to lucky number 7 or lucky level 7 if you will. Uh, guys, 35,000 Dark Elixir is not a problem. We're going to be able to afford that no problem whatsoever because uh, I've got 51,000 sitting in my storage plus it looks like 1,500 in my treasury. I always forget that it shows that on there. It shows your how much you can hold, how much you have. It also shows how much you're making per hour and how much is in your treasury. I always just go to my treasury and look at it. But, you know, there's some uh, cool little, um, you know, secret things in the game that I forget about. It's not that it's a secret. It's just that I forget about it. But anyway, so that's what we're going to be up to today. But first, I have to use a builder um, with elixir because I've practically got max elixir in my storage So let's go ahead and go into my progress base and I think that the obvious choice for our um, for, for for our elixir is actually to upgrade the dark barracks because this will be Our final dark barracks upgrade of the let's play I think we've really done a great job of staying on top of these upgrades and getting them done So don't let off on the gas just yet guys. Let's keep it going So let's go and upgrade this dark barracks to max and then we'll be able to train uh, Lava Hounds at the fastest rate that we can, that, that any Town Hall 9 can. So let's do this, guys. 3D upgrade, 3 million elixir, and 3, 2, 1, bam. Sweet. Okay, so that is done. Um, and, ooh, I just realized something. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say, ooh, we don't have a barracks going. I should upgrade a barracks too, but that one has two days to go. So, definitely not going to do that. So, we got one builder left, tons and tons of loot, and a queen needs to be upgraded. Today is going to be an interesting day for show. So, without further delay, guys, let's get in there. Let's get some loot. I have bowlers in my clan castle. I'm pretty sure that my request message asks for e-drags. So, I don't know why I have bowlers. Maybe somebody just needed to donate bowlers for whatever reason. That's not a good excuse. You should always donate what your clan mates are requesting. Uh, but I don't really mind. I'm, I'm, it's not for war or anything like that. And uh, bowlers are very useful. So um, I, I, I'll just, you know, I'll just bear it this time around. But um, yes, guys, Bart has been legit. All I got to do is find that perfect base. As you guys know by now, we've done how many? 10, 20 episodes now so far in this Town Hall 9 Let's Play. And we've gotten so much done. I say we continue getting, actually, there you go. Spades, my dude. You have half a million elixir. I love elixir. And you have 1,800 dark elixir. And check out where it is. I mean, it's right there on the outside. It's not like it's in the middle, super well protected. And then we have another drill on the outside over there, too. So I say let's take on this base, all right? Barbarians first. Get that tanking done, my dudes. Get that tanking done. And then we're going to go archers hard in the paint. We got to get uh, make sure we at least get those drills, the dark elixir drills out there. And then we can use our queen to snag the uh, dark elixir out of that storage because it is within range. Um, the only question will be where are we going to use our bowlers in our clan castle if we decide to use them? Not, you don't have to use them every single time. So, uh, yeah, things, like the, things look like they're going really well according to plan. Let's go ahead and drop the queen way out here. There's really no defenses, and oh, the queen! Wow, I didn't realize the queen can hit that from right there. I thought she was going to have to swing down to where these barbarians are. Unfortunately, the barbarians bite the dust, but that's all right. So we're gonna, what we're going to do here, I think, I don't think we need to worry too much about the elixir. I mean, yeah, there's 240 dark elixir still hanging around somewhere, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to pop out queen's ability. We'll get through the ability here, and then I will cut out before she takes too much damage, if any, because that was a solid loot grab, guys. Almost 300,000 gold, which is kind of like what I look for. Um, more than that, an elixir. And then 1,600 dark elixir, dude. That is beautiful for a barch raid. So, all right. So, we're already set up for the next raid. But I have, um, well, I haven't really done a whole lot, honestly, between episodes. Because we just, I just had a ton of loot. But, like, check out this raid here. This one was this morning. Um, a good old-fashioned Dead Town Hall 9. Remember last episode, it was all about those Dead Town Hall 8s. Because they've got too much elixir and not enough time, right? So with this base, there's a lot of potential for a lot of Dark Elixir. And it seems like the higher up I go, the more likely I am to run into a Town Hall 9. And what I mean by high up, as in, as in uh, high up in trophies, right? So right now I'm at like 1,500, maybe 1,600. And if I keep going higher into like Crystal League, I seem to be running into Town Hall 9s. Uh, with higher and higher level Dark Elixir drills, and that's what you want to find. You really want to find bases 
with those level six Dark Elixir drills. We showed that, I actually showed that yes, uh, last episode too, uh, because I showed that queen sniping two of those drills and by the queen herself getting 2,700 Dark Elixir. So the higher up you go, the more likely that's gonna be. And that is why I just, I just love this grind, man. It's just a whole lot of fun. Now, unfortunately I don't win this particular attack. I chose not to use my clan castle, as I said earlier. You don't always have to use it. I don't mind if I lose an attack every once in a while because I just don't want to waste my uh, my clan castle troops. So there you go. That was 400,000 plus golden elixir and a beautiful 1,300 dark elixir. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that for sure. And I just, wow, I just realized something. I still haven't upgraded these this gold mine and this elixir collector of max. Like that was like these are the ones I'm going to focus on. You know, that's what I was talking about. But we've been so good at keeping builders working on my heroes that I, I just haven't had the time. I haven't had the uh, the ability to upgrade anything else. Like, it's been all about barracks, dark barracks. It's been about the dark elixir storage and heroes. And that is definitely where my loot has been going lately. And definitely my builders. I wish I had that sixth builder. But unfortunately, I just don't have the time to play builder base that much on any account but my main account and my main account still doesn't have the sixth builder you don't know what i'm talking about google sixth builder in clash of clans um it was released in the most recent update anyway so let's go and smack another base let's get a star bonus we got to get at least a one star here and obviously we're going to try to find ourselves another dead town hall nine i, I mean i like hitting the dead town hall whoa This is the weirdest base I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Look at this. 800,000 golden elixir, 3,200 dark elixir. This is insane looking, dude. Okay, there's no way that I'm going to three-star this. Let me see if I can maybe snipe it. No. Oh, man. Too far. Too close. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Oh, no. I had, I was in the magic spot where I could have sniped this Tesla, or, or this town hall, but now I can't. Okay, so here's what we're going to do here, guys. I'm going to deploy my barbarians, and we're going to spam heal spells everywhere. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Let's go barbarians. Let's go heal spell. Two heal spells. Just like that. Let's go archers. And then I'm thinking I'm going to send in my bowlers as well. And I'm going to send them up to the top. Okay, because that is where some of the major threats are. That's where like the queen is and the king and I'm going to try to hold on to my uh, my queen just for a little while. Okay, let's drop a poison. Let's drop a heal on the bowlers. I'm going to try to hold on to my queen just long enough to where I can maybe use her against the uh, town hall or even better against the dark elixir that's up there at the top. Um, unfortunately, now my troops are running into this wall of wizard towers. That is the worst. Uh, but I've only got one heal left, so I'm thinking we definitely... No, we don't need to. I mean, all the loot is basically up here. I'm going to drop a heal right there on the bowlers. And if we're lucky, guys, then our bowlers will be able to also get up there and get the Dark Elixir out of this drill. Uh, these drills. And then we can get the rest of the loot out of the town hall. So, this is looking good, guys. Let's get the queen. And she has a longer range than the archers. So, I think that we're about to get 100% of this loot right here guys we're not gonna three star there's still too many uh, defenses um but we are definitely did i miss some loot like on the outside or something oh that's oh col what's weird elixir collector way out there on the outside anyway so those bowlers came in the handy i don't think that an e-drag could have done all that i think that the bowlers were a better choice for that situation so there you go oh my goodness let me pop that queen's ability just to keep her alive for a moment cut out that was an amazing Raid, oh my goodness, that's a record, I think. 800,000 golden elixir, over 3,000 dark elixir on a base design. Let me just go back to that base design. Hold on, let me go, let me, I can thank you for the star bonus. Let me just look at this base design for a second. This is the weirdest base design I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, real. I love it. it. It made for such an interesting attack. Shout out to El Diablo from Happy Bunnies Clan. All right, shout out to you, man. I love you. Thank you for the interesting experience, and thank you for all the loot. Like, that was probably the clutchest part of all that. And you're not it's not even a dead base, dude. Like, Expos, both of the Expos had ammunition. I wonder if we wiped out the ammo. I'm curious. Let's put down our troops. I was talking, and I was explaining, and I was excited. So, we're going to go Barbarians, Heal Spells. Watch the Expos, okay? Let's see if they run out of ammo. That one doesn't. 
and that one doesn't. Okay, so it really wasn't a dead base. Like, it was just a fully alive base. That was so much fun. I had a blast hitting that base. That was awesome. All right, so now I got to focus again, okay? I got to focus down to what we're doing. Let me collect my treasury just to see. No, let me collect my treasury just to see where we're at. I've got a ton of loot, a ton of loot, okay? Uh, tomorrow, I will have one builder come available. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow's a busy day. So um, I guess we could spend all of our loot today. I, I say we do that. So what we'll do here is I will upgrade my queen with my builder. And so what that means is that I'm going to spend all of my loot on walls. Yes, guys, on walls. Oh, my goodness. We've been making some major, major wall progress, and it's about to get even more stupid. All right, so let's go six million. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to a million elixir in the background just in case, okay? So we're gonna spend six million elixir on walls right here, right now, that's 12 wall pieces in three, two, one, bam. Yes, 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 okay? And then gold, I will do the same thing. We're gonna go with about four million gold. I'm getting really good at guessing these, by the way. So four million gold into walls in three, two, one, bam. And that, my friends, was 20 walls in a single video. Gotta love it, man. Got to flippin' love it. And now it is time, like we said at the beginning of the video, it is time to send the queen to lucky number seven, all right? Um, it doesn't have anything special. I mean, the regeneration time doesn't change, so that's nice. The hit points go up a bit. The damage per second goes up a bit. But the whole goal is to get to the next royal cloak ability, which is at level 10. So this is basically just a stepping stone. So in a day and a half, she'll wake up level seven. This is a 35,000 dark elixir investment. Yes, it is an investment because it's expensive at first, but it pays off in the end. Let's do this guys. Arch queen level seven in three, two, one, bam. And of course I've actually got a book of heroes. Remember I mentioned that last episode. Um, so maybe I'll get enough dark elixir to Wait a minute. Okay, so the Dark Elixir storage finishes in two days. Okay, so if I film in two days, then I could potentially at then, at that point, use the Dark Elixir rune that I've got down there. I don't know if we will. We'll just have to see. It, just, it has to work out, and sometimes it doesn't. So, um, wow. Epic stuff, guys. Heroes, that queen grinding so hard here at the beginning of our Town on 9. And, um, of course, our walls are looking very, very nice indeed. So, guys, that's going to have to do it for me today in this episode of our Town 9 Let's Play. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. And, of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already for daily Clash of Clans videos and to join the Klaus family. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.